Hello internet allies, how are you doing? Something about me, I like kind of finding out things about myself and I love like kind of personality tests and stuff like that. So today what I wanted to do was take the moral alignment test. You might have seen it around where people like say they're like chaotic good, chaotic neutral, lawful good, lawful neutral, true neutral, neutral evil, lawful evil, whatever, you know, that, that kind of um, layout really so it can tell you like basically whether you're not whether or not you're good neutral evil or lawful neutral or chaotic so I think the moral alignment thing comes from Dungeons and Dragons now I've never played Dungeons and Dragons before but I've known people who have played it like I mean I remember being invited to a couple of like Dungeons and Dragons games but like they just had like a lot of commitment and stuff like that. <laughs> I am intrigued by Dungeons and Dragons actually like you know I know my friend Megan they play it um I think a couple of people I'm following on TikTok they play it as well um so what I wanted to do is find out what my moral alignment was because I love finding out things about myself and I love a good personality test. Here we go. The one I've gone for is the Wizards of the Coast one because I know that that one makes like a lot of like card games and stuff like that, like and role playing games. I'm just gonna base this completely on myself. This isn't like a character or anything like that. So this is completely just me, basically just taking the test as I am. Family elders are expressing disapproval of you to the rest of the family. Okay, well my family elders would never do that, <laughs> but sure. Okay, let's put myself in this situation. Do you accept the criticism and change your ways? Seek a compromise with the elders? Besmirch the reputation of the elders as you ignore their scorn? Oh my god. <laughs> or silence the elders any way you can, oh my god. <laughs> Depends on what the disapproval is. I'd probably seek a compromise realistically. <laughs> but... But the smudge of reputation of the elders is you ignore their scorn. <laughs> Would you give up a promising career to aid the family in a time of need? In a heartbeat, yes, with some reluctance. Only if I was certain I'd be able to return to my career soon or no. I think family definitely has to come first. Can't really replace families. There'll be plenty of career opportunities in the future. So I'd probably say in a heartbeat. Would you portray a family member to advance your... Oh, okay, so this kind of goes into, like, um, the last question, is it? Yes, without a twinge of guilt. Yes, if I could do it secretly. I'd resist the temptation. I find the very idea abhorrent with my videography. Like, sometimes I think, you know, what if, like, some corrupt company or corrupt person wanted me to video them? And, you know, even though, you know, like, I am kind of in that kind of starting process. I don't think I'd feel comfortable with filming somebody I don't morally agree with. Do you respect the leaders of your family? Their words guide my actions. They're role models for me. They're often out of touch with my life. They're out of touch with reality. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be so shady. I think sometimes I can be a bit out of touch. I'm sorry, Mum and Dad, if you're watching. If your family had arranged your marriage to someone loathsome, would you go through with it, proud to save your family, agree hiding your reluctance, subtly work against the union, or flee? I would only want to marry for love, so... Yeah, flee. I, I wouldn't want to marry somebody I didn't like, you know. That would... Horrible. You're estranged from a family member on his deathbed, well, or her deathbed, their deathbed, you know, we don't, don't want to assume genders or anything. They seek rec reconciliation. Do you speak to them but hold their ground? Refuse to speak to them? Discuss your estrangement openly and without rancor? Actively seek reconciliation and heed their dying words. I think I'd give them a chance to re reconcile, I'm not going to lie. I'd probably speak to them but hold my ground, I think. A powerful but corrupt judge offers you wealth if you testify against a friend. Do you condemn your friend and take the money? Take the money and testify but try to keep your testimony ineffective. Refuse the offer and refuse to testify. Testify on your friend's behalf, no matter the con- Ooh, a powerful but corrupt judge. I'll just say testify on my friend's behalf, I think. Do you become close to friends or hold most people at a safe distance? I have an abundance of close friends. I have some close friends, I have few close friends. I try to keep people at a distance. I'm gonna say I have some close friends. Have you ever betrayed a friend? Right, gotcha. I've done so more than once and I sometimes get away with it. I've done so once. I've been tempted to do so, but I've never gone through with it. I've, n I've never contemplate such a thing. 
can't think of a time when I've betrayed anyone. Like, if I have, I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, there is that, like, temptation, like, you know, when your friends kind of annoyed you that you kind of, like, post about them, throw them under a bus on social media or whatever. I mean, people can do much worse things. I'll, I'll say I've been tempted to do so, but I've never gone through with it. Do you insist on repayment when lending money to friends? Yes, and I write out contracts. <laughs> wow, some people are really strict, aren't they? Yes, but I try to be flexible about the exact terms. No, although it's sh sure nice to be repaid. No, they just owe me a favour. It's nice when you sort of, when you sort of friends with somebody to make an equal amount of effort and stuff like that. So basically, if it's kind of like, oh yeah, I'll pay for the for the drinks this time round, you pay for the drinks next time, you know, kind of stuff like that. Or like we split, split the cost of whatever we're doing. I'm not really that like strict on it, I don't think. So I'd say no, although it's sure nice to be repaid. I'll say that. Are you still in touch with childhood friends? Yes, we correspond regularly. Yes, we try to keep in touch. No, we move around too much. So I've known my friends, Josh and Megan, for, my God, okay, so I've been friends with them for about, what year did I start with being friends with them? 2008, I think it was. So, my God, this would be like our 13th year of friendship. So basically, I've been friends with them pretty much half my life, which is crazy. Do you donate time and money to the local community? Yes, the needs of my community are my top priority. Yes, I donate as much as I can once my own needs are met. No, I don't have enough time or money to spare. No, my local community would be my, oof. So here's the thing, I do like getting involved with like community projects and stuff like that. Like I think a lot of my videography stuff like does revolve around community projects. There was a Christmas video I did around that and I do enjoy doing stuff like that. So I will say, yes, I donate as much as I can once my own needs are met. Your community is threatened with invasion. Do you help defend it to your last breath? Man the barricades with the rest of your community. Flee as soon as things look grim. No, that's, that's very cowardly. Could to deal with the invaders to act as a spy. What? I mean, the spy thing sounds cool, but you know, I'm not going to betray my community. I'll just say help to find it to my last breath, I think. <laughs> if you were injured and required immediate assistance, would members of your home community agree to help? Well, blooming my hope so. <laughs> yes, because I know they know I do the same for them. Yes, because I'm generally well liked. Probably not because I'm distrusted by the towers at B. Definitely not, I've made some enemies here. I'm gonna say yes because they know I do the same for them. I mean, that may be seem like I'm quite trusting, but whatever. Do you respect the laws and authorities of the community? I don't pay attention to the authorities, they've got no hold on me. Whoa, that one's really sassy, isn't it? <laughs> I'd like to think I'm pretty law-abiding. I mean, I do remember when I was at school, I probably would have said like, you know, when it suits me kind of thing. Sometimes there will be like laws like I don't really quite understand or whatever. But I wanna feel like I'm also quite like free-spirited as well. So I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I don't pay attention to the authorities, I've got no hold on me. I just wanna be like sassy and rebellious and stuff sometimes, you know, I'm just gonna say that one. Do members of the community shun, avoid, or mock you? Yes, the small lines can't handle anyone outside the norm. Some do because I don't always fit in. No, I generally seen as normal. No, I set the standard for what is normal. I'm like, oh my god, they're small minds. I I don't know. I don't really think any of them are particularly accurate. I'll say some do because I don't always fit in. I'll say that. So some of these are like a bit like when I was at school versus now kind of thing. Would you stand for office or seek to represent the interests of the community in some public manner? I don't know. Power didn't really interest me that much. To do so would be an honour I joyously accept. Of course, it's everyone's duty to do so. Only if no one else could handle the job. No, I don't want to be responsible for the community's welfare. If people trusted me enough, that would be amazing. Relationship to king and country. Your country is racked with famine. Would you share what food you had with others? Eat as little as possible yourself and share the rest. Steal what food you needed to survive. Or steal as much food as possible, then sell it back to the community. Oh my god, that's evil, that. <laughs> I'd probably just share what I had with others, to be honest. A plague is sweeping across your country. Welcome to 2020. This is like the most 2020 question. <laughs> Would you undertake a dangerous mission to find a cure? Heal the sick as best you can. Avoid contact with the sick or flee the country. <laughs> I wish I could flee the country, to be honest. <laughs> Do you respect the lawful authorities and rulers of the land? Yes, long live the queen. <laughs> yes, our rules are gen generally fair and just. No, a ruler is no better than anyone else. No, rulers are in 
variably corrupted by power. I mean, I do believe that like everybody is like equal. Would you spy for a hostile foreign power? Yes, because my nation could stand to be knocked down a peg. Yes, because my nation's secrets mean little to me. No, because I might get caught or no, because I never violate the trust my nation put in me. I'll say the last one. I do want to be seen as trustworthy. Do you rely on the government to enforce contracts and property rights? No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The government can't even pave roads. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. Like, we've got so many potholes in this country, it's ridiculous. Thoughts on crime and punishment? If in prison, would you injure or kill others to escape? Yes, serves them right for locking me up. Yes, they know, knew the risk when they took the job. No, except for minor wounds that would heal easily. No, those guards are just doing their jobs. Now, I wouldn't want to, like, kill people, like, but, you know, I probably would want to escape me being a free spirit and all. <laughs> Do you accept a noble's right to treat badly the serfs who work on his land? No. Nobles should rule as kindly as possible. No one has any right to treat another bad... Yeah, basically, no one has, has any right to treat another badly, period. Definitely. I love how sassy some of these answers are. You have accidentally committed a crime. Do you confess and attempt to make restitution with, to the victim? Confess throwing yourself on the mercy of the court. Hide your involvement lying if you have to. Try to pin the crime on another. <laughs> this is basically Among Us, isn't it? Try to pin the crime on another. I guess confess and attempt to make restitution to the victim. If guilty, would you confess a crime? Yes, because it's my duty to do so. Yes, because it might get me a lighter sentence. No, um, I'd make the magistrates prove my guilt. No, and I'd try to prove my innocence. Again, me being free spirit, I just want to prove my innocence. <laughs> I think I'm a nice person. Uh, whilst travelling, you witness an assault. You are ordered to testify, which will delay your travel significantly. Do you slip out of town to avoid testifying? Now you saw anything, remain reluctantly, testify and leave, relaying until the trial's conclusion in case any further testimony is needed. I'll say this because, you know, I don't really like my child plans being getting disrupted too much, to be honest. When confronted by beggars, do you give generously, give moderately, give only what I wouldn't miss anyway, a copper or two at most? Ignore them as you walk by by i'd probably say like give moderately if you see people on the street you like sometimes you don't really know whether or not they're trying to scam you maybe it's just my trust issues or something like that like, i think what i'd rather do for for somebody if i saw somebody on the street like i'd rather like buy them like a cup of coffee or something rather than give them money because you know because then like a cup of coffee you know that can kind of perk them up a bit or buy them like a drink of water or something rather than actually give them money because yeah because then they can do what they want with the money and, you know, sometimes they may, may not use that money particularly wisely. By using magic, you could fool verge merchants into thinking your copper pieces were made of gold. Do you? Yes, and I'll buy as much as I can. Yes, but I'll only cheat the rich merchants. <laughs> no, it's too risky. No, those merchants have families to feed. Yes, and I'll buy as much as I can. Because <laughs> I'm poor, basically. <laughs> if you accepted a job or contract, would you try and finish the task even if it got much more dangerous? Yes, my word is my bond. Yes, because it's good to have a reputation for dependability. You can better be renegotiating. If it's no longer a good deal, then the deal is off. I think it's good to have a reputation for dependability. Yeah, if it's no longer a good deal, then the deal's off, I think. Oh my god, okay, done, then submit your answers to the find. I'm a bit nervous about this because I have literally no idea what I'm gonna get. Oh god, I really hope I'm like neutral good or chaotic good, but... Yeah, but I could be like... I don't know, I don't, I don't really know which one I'm gonna get. I'll, I'll see what I get. Here we go. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, see what I get. Okay, neutral good, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. A neutral good character does the best that a good person can do. He's devoted to helping others. He works for the kings and magistrates, but does not feel beholden to them. The common phrase for a neutral good is true good. A neutral good is the best alignment you can be. Yay! Because it means doing what is good while without bias or against order. Yay! I'm the best one! Yay! I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I'm a neutral good person. Yay! <laughs> anyway, thanks very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have a moral alignment and whatnot. Um, I'd love to hear what your moral alignment is. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Until next time, keep smiling. Bye-bye.